I have a question for the women watching this show tonight. Have you ever been catcalled? Have you ever faced harassment? And if yes, was it blamed on you, on the kind of clothes that you were wearing, on the hour of the day perhaps that you were out, on the number of drinks that you've had? Unfortunately, victim blaming is the first resort for sexists. Women around the world face it, and now even public figures like the Italian Prime Minister's partner are openly indulging in this. Off late, there have been multiple gang rapes in Italy. Andrea Giambruno, who is a TV host, raised the issue during a live broadcast. And here's what he said. Let me just read it out for you. If you go dancing, you have every right to get drunk. But if you avoid getting drunk and losing consciousness, maybe you would also avoid getting into specific problems because that's when you find the wolf. Here, the wolf referring to a rapist. And Jam Bruno believes that a woman is more likely to be raped if she's drunk. What's next? And where is this even coming from? Is having a drink or two inviting a man? Is that what Jim Brano is implying? And for that matter, women who don't drink also get raped. That is the sad truth because it's not the woman, it's always the perpetrator. And I thought we were past this basic debate. But turns out we are not. Sexists are still blaming it on women. In Sicily, a 19-year-old was gang raped by seven men. All were aged between 18 and 22. Not only did they rape her, they also filmed the entire incident. How sick do you need to be to do that? Six of them were arrested. One was a minor at the time of the attack. He was allowed to walk free after confessing. Can you believe that? What ensures the victim will be safe in the future? One of the criminals is roaming around freely. And here we have Jim Bruno, Jim Bruno doing commentary on national television, preaching what women should and should not be doing, advising them about how to avoid rape. Jim Bruno's remarks have prompted an angry response naturally. And what else did he expect anyway? Politicians, activists, influencers all have spoken out against his problematic comments. Martina Semenzato, who heads a parliamentary inquiry into violence against women, has said, and I'm quoting, nothing can justify sexual violence and the victim should never be blamed in any, in any way. Centre-left politician Chiara Gribodu accused Jim Bruno of victim blaming pure and simple. She added, never mind telling men, the real culprits, not to rape. Social media influencer Chiara Faragini complained on Instagram that it was not wolves that women had problems with, but men, and rightly so, condemning rapists as beasts and wolves, and then going ahead and lecturing women does not add up. But that's exactly what Jim Bruno did. Jim Bruno is crying foul. He is saying that the critics have taken his words out of context. And his partner, the Italian Prime Minister, is maintaining silence. What can she even say? And it's not just Andrea Jim Bruno. Another public figure has made inappropriate remarks. The French Justice Minister, Eric Dupont Morty, Moretti. A woman was being prosecuted for sexual exhibitionism after she walked topless in the street. And she said that she went topless because it was too hot outside and half the men had done the same. The Justice Minister said, and I'm quoting, I have noticed that none of the women journalists asking questions today were standing bare-breasted in front of me. Maybe it wasn't hot enough. Quote, unquote. These remarks were made after a press briefing to reporters. Whatever the context was, do men in power get to say whatever pleases them? Can they just get away with sexist and highly inappropriate comments like these?
can they also preach women over rape and how to stay safe? Why not check their own behavior? Why not blame the criminal instead of the victim? And before you say not all men, please think about it. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.